Before proceeding with the installation of the JMath FX platform, it is essential to check if Java is installed on our device. Otherwise, we may encounter some problems including the installation file JMath FX setup may not be recognized by our system. Problems may occur during the installation startup phase. Checking the presence of Java on our system is straightforward. We type CMD into the taskbar and within moments, the link to open the command prompt appears. Let's click on it and wait for it to open. Once the window is open, we type the following command. Press enter and wait for the response. If Java is already installed, a message indicating the installed Java version will appear in the window. However, in my case, as we can see, Java is not recognized, so installation is required. In the meantime, let's proceed with downloading the JMath FX platform. At the end of the download, a pop-up banner notifies us that JMath FX requires Java to function. Therefore, if Java is not recognized on our PC during the previous check, it is necessary to proceed with installing Java before proceeding with the JMath FX platform installation. As we have seen, Java is not recognized in my system because it is not installed. Therefore, I click on More Info, which will redirect me to the Java download page. On the Java web page, all we have to do is find the download button. Therefore, I proceed with the download. Once the download is complete, I retrieve the Java installer file and start the installation process. The installation is straightforward, requiring only confirmation of the proposed options. Once the procedure is complete, Java will be installed on our PC. At this point, we can proceed with launching the JMath FX setup application. However, on the first launch, it is necessary to inform our PC that the file should be opened through the Java platform. So right-click on JMath FX Setup, select Open With, click on Choose Another App. In the startup pop-up window, select Java Platform and check the box Always use this app to open at JAR files, then confirm with OK. At that moment, JMath FX Setup will be launched. All we have to do is click on the Install JMath FX Platform button. The process will be completely automatic, and we will not need to intervene except to confirm the actions that follow. Having installed Java, and therefore assigned the opening of applications to it, from now on, we will be able to start the JMath FX installer and any other Java application with a simple double-click. However, if the program fails to start, we will perform another step. Click in the folder path bar. With the folder path still selected, type CMD. If we have done everything correctly, our command prompt will open within the folder where the JMath FX setup installer is located. Now we type the following command. Press Enter. The installation program should start in this case. However, if not, it will release an error output. This output will be a clue to understand the reasons why JMath FX setup does not start. All you have to do is inform us of this.